What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Since I'm about Scream 6 in this video here again today. And we're going to be talking about a cast member that is, I guess we should expect to be announced because this is coming to us from the same individual who had talked about the fact that Hayden Pantier signed on a month before we had gotten an announcement from a, a talent agency. And then of course, prior to us getting the actual announcement that she was back, now again this should all just be taken with uh, a grain of salt until it's actually announced but this person so far has been correct and this is just coming from none other than clips underscore comprehend over on reddit who is claiming that ja joshua jackson is one of the cast members that i'm sure you've seen in one of those fake cast lists out there this person will go out of the way to denounce the cast list that are fake while then also sending up to the high heavens the things that they are claiming to be true and apparently joshua jackson is going to be in scream six now as far as i know there's been of course no official announcement however if joshua jackson is in scream six that raises several questions for me related to roman bridger would scream six dive into roman bridger a little bit more not to say that roman is going to be at the full center of it but could there be something that happens with gail weathers that relates to why joshua jackson is back in this franchise because if you remember joshua jackson at this stage is playing himself in this universe he was the film student in scream 2 during the uh, conversation about sequels surpassing their original and we know that in scream 5 what it has done is made it a made it canon that he went on to star in dawson's creek and that he also was able to uh, not only star in Dawson, Dawson's Creek, but he was also, of course, a co-star with Scott Foley, who in this universe would, of course, be Roman Bridger. So this in-universe Joshua Jackson has starred in a series with Roman Bridger. They've had time on set with one of the Ghostface killers. Where are they at right now in their career if they are indeed bringing Joshua Jackson back? Is he going to get to talk about Roman in some capacity? I've been thinking of something just regarding Roman Bridger being brought up in a panel or something with Joshua being a guest on the Gail Weathers morning show or something like that, where he just starts talking about his time on set with Roman Bridger and how the events of Scream 3 had a real impact on him and he maybe talks about Sydney a little bit and just dives into how Roman was on set or maybe Joshua Jackson for whatever reason has developed a bond with someone else in this universe I don't think it's going to be Sydney I think honestly what will happen is he's just going to be a minor role if he is indeed in this movie and they could use him as a way to guess I give a give us a few throwaway lines about Roman Bridger while still confirming that yes this is indeed that kid you saw in scream 2 in the film theory class talking about all those sequels because that's what it is that's what happened in screen five by you sh by them showing us him on screen like that with roman in that show you have confirmed that he went on to star in dawson's creek and he was a co-star with roman bridger who we know is the only dawson's creek member <laughs> cast member at this point to go on to be one of the Ghostface killers and have a big connection to sydney prescott so they're claiming that he is in the movie they also went on in a complete rant about it as well. They said no one reported Rory before me. Remember many months ago, they had told us the character names in these movies would be Rory, Leslie, and Christina, while also admitting that Christina is someone we were expecting because of her mentions in Scream 5. Um, they went on talking about like no one reported Rory before me. Find anyone stating that name before me, you won't. And I reported Hayden signed on well before the whole management ordeal leaked out. Why I'm not worried is because I'm not leaking anything with a document attached. I also don't know if you understand how these media outlets can be shitty and ruin another outlet's exclusive. Uh, it doesn't matter to me whether you believe me or not, but these posts will be here when things release and we'll see if they line up with the movie when it's filmed. As for something concrete, the Joshua Jackson casting is true. The cast list isn't correct 100%, but he is a part of the cast. Now, again... I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video. This person, when you go through their account and look at their comments. Now, some of this stuff I've seen has been deleted. 
they've been right so far on the things that they are talking about. They're not saying anything major as far as like other than those rumored plot details that they put out. They haven't said anything major in my mind. So if you're someone who thinks you need to avoid them for spoilers at this stage, I mean, whatever is a spoiler to you is a spoiler to you. So avoid them at all costs, I guess. But for those of you who are curious what this person has been saying, I'll leave a link to their account in the description. They are saying that Joshua Jackson is returning in this movie. I have several questions. Will we get Roman Bridger addressed? Is he starring in a new stab movie? Is he going to be a guest on the Gale Weathers Morning Show if it's true? And when are we going to get this announcement? I can say that I have been seeing Joshua Jackson's name in the headlines recently. So maybe he ends up getting announced in Scream 6. Like, you know, this is just a good way for him to have some good publicity really quick before he gets that bombshell announcement that he's returning to the Scream franchise in, I would guess, a reappearance of his character from Scream 2, of course, in another minor role. He could be a very... He could be a big player in the movie. I don't want to under underestimate what they could use him for. I just think that he'll be brought in as an actor. We know that with the Simeon Days audition tape, he mentions that his character is a struggling actor. So is he working on something with that character in the movie? There's so many different things that could happen with Joshua Jackson if he were to be brought back. I would rather they use him as a minor role, honestly, not have him factored into anything majorly, but his presence could still provide a lot of important answers, such as, again, throwaway lines that are useful to understanding Roman Bridger, especially if he's a guest on the Gale Weathers Morning Show, or maybe there's something that happens with Dawson's Creek for some reason in this uh in this uh, new screen movie and Roman's name gets brought up and Joshua talks about Roman. Maybe that's something that'll happen. That'll be a cool moment. Talk about how his former co-star went on a psycho psychopathic murder spree. So we'll see what happens if it ends up being true. Again, it's not confirmed, uh, at least from where we're standing, because we don't have any receipts from what they're claiming. But they've been right about what they've been stating so far. And we'll see how much else is correct about what they've put out there when things start coming to fruition with scream six but let me know what you guys think about joshua jackson from scream 2 returning potentially in scream 6 down in the comment section below would you want to see that what do you think they should address with him being back if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video